Hey everybody, Jason Freed with Leisure Outdoor Adventures with your uh, little pre-walleye opener report. So today was a big day, the ice went off on uh, Leech Lake and we are all gearing up for the uh, surrounding lakes and especially Leech. But I'm out in my boat here this evening getting ready, rigging up some rods and you know, when you think about walleye openers, one thing you think about when it comes to how to catch fish and that's using jigs, lots and lots of jigs. And so when you look in your tackle box, you'll find different colors, different profiles, uh, short shank, long shank, jigs with spinners, all different kinds of things. And so where do you start? And so a good rule of thumb, this is kind of what I do when, when I fish on Wally Open. I want to have three types of setups uh, when it comes to jig fishing. And so the first one I love to use is always going to be some sort of long shank jig. Uh, this is a Ken Catch jig uh, with Ken Catch tackle. It's got a longer shank as you can see. And what I like about that is it gives you more surface area, allows you to double hook a shiner or a rainbow, and it keeps the, the middle on longer. But more importantly, when that fish grabs onto that bait, there's more surface area, and that's going to help increase your, your hooking percentage on those fish. So think about a long shank jig. There's lots of them out there, but that's going to be one of my number one go-tos because I can pitch it, cast it, snap jig it, lots of different things. Uh, you know, you'll also think about having some sort of jig that's got a uh, plastic keeper on this is a vmc for example uh, but what i'm going to use probably have also rigged up as some sort of plastic and um, you know with the potentials you know limited supply of certain minnows having plastics rigged up is going to be important so this is a smart soccer uh, mick rubber and uh, you know it's kind of got that profile of a minnow and the color of a minnow and so i'm gonna have a couple of these tied up and i plan on trying to use these for more of a reaction bite and finally, when you think about jigs, many, many, many of you probably have these in your, in your tackle box. It's just a standard fireball jig. It's got a short shank, and it's tried and true, been around for many, many, many years. And uh, to have some sort of short shank is always good. Uh, you're not going to have that surface area, but you can put a smaller metal on there, fat heads, small shiners, uh, small rainbows. Uh, you can cast them. You can drift with them. Uh, it's just a super versatile bait. But one of my favorite short shanks is going to be some sort of stand-up jig and what that allows you to do is I love it for pitching and casting because you can pitch it out there and you get more of this vertical profile where it looks like that minnow is feeding down and uh, and it's great for when you're you're rip jigging or, or pitching into weeds uh, or any of those kinds of areas and so I'm gonna have one of these tied up I'm gonna have a long shank tied up I'm gonna have some sort of plastic set up and that's gonna be my my go-to but more, more importantly think about your cadence uh, mix it up, don't do the same thing all the time, see what's working, pay attention to your surroundings, uh, but have that confidence bait. What's going to be that go-to jig that you tie on on opener? And uh, when you cast it out for the first time, have confidence that you're going to catch fish and you're going to have a great missile to walleye opener. Uh, look forward to letting everybody know the future reports and we'll see you soon. Thanks.